Why am I pissed? You know what? Might as well do the review now. Might as well do the game review now. I was gonna do one, but let's just do the game review now. Fuck it. Hogwarts Legacy has probably one of the best storylines I've played. The main quest itself, the storyline there, is fucking it's it's tremendous. It's tremendous. It hit me with twists and turns at every single moment that I didn't expect. Right? I'm not gonna spoil anything, but there were some things that I just didn't expect, and that was cool. The 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 relationship quest too, uh, you know, it kind of got me crying in the end as to, you know, the the choices I've made, especially with Sebastian, how that ended. You know what I mean? I was on the on the verge of crying, right? And I like that. I like that about this game. The the and on top of that, the gameplay, the fighting, it's not bad. I, I enjoyed it. I you know, I'm not a big. Uh, I haven't seen a single Harry Potter movie, haven't read a single book, but found myself enjoying this game, especially with all the spells that throw, you know what I mean? See, look at this fucking chest over here. How am I supposed to know that's here? How am I supposed to know? Fuck off. Anyway, yeah, I haven't seen any Harry Potter movie, haven't read a book, but you know, this game got me, got me into it. I'm not gonna lie, it got me, got me into it. So maybe eventually I'll end up watching the movies or reading the books, but yeah, the gameplay, Beautiful. Didn't know a single spell. Now I do. Now I can hit people with fucking Avada Kedavra uh, in real life. Uh, that's a joke. But yeah, gameplay was good. Uh, what else was good? What else did I think was good? Uh, honestly, I think that's it. To be now let's get on to the bad. Yeah, see, in chat, this guy's saying the books are way too big to read. I kind of have to agree with you. The books are fucking thick, right? They are thick. Okay. But... Yeah, what was I gonna say? I was gonna go on to the bat. Look, see, there's another fucking chest here. Fuck off. Bullshit. It's fucking bullshit, man. So, yeah, on to the bad. If you are someone who wants to platinum a game and you want to beat it with 100%, this is gonna be very tough because this game is full of bullshit. Uh, if you play the game, you know, 94 Merlin Trials, there's no need for 94 Merlin Trials. There's just no need for it. There's no need to have to fly around wasting your time trying to find stuff because they don't put it on the map, right? People don't have hours, uh, you know, especially, you know, I like to beat games. I, li I like the 100% games. I played Spider-Man 2 recently. You know what I mean? I had to play through that once. Once and I was good. I got the platinum at the end of playing it. Great. But this game, it, they put so much extra shit in here, extra nonsense. It's just not, I was not a fan of that. And especially, like I said, if you are planning on platinum in this game, there's three different quests or three different achievements in this game, I should say, where you have to create three separate game saves for three different characters. And you have to play about an hour, hour and a half into each of those just to find the map chamber. If you, if you play the game, you know, but you have to find a map chamber as every single house and there's four houses. So, you know, on, that's three. That's, what is that? Almost five hours extra time you need to spend in this game just to get three different achievements. It's, it's ridiculous. It's absolutely ridiculous. And yeah, it is ridiculous. Uh, and I found myself at the end of the game trying to find all this bullshit. And it made me hate this fucking game. It absolutely made me hate this game. And, and you know, if it didn't make me do that, I'd be pumped for Hogwarts Legacy 2. But now I don't even have any interest in playing that game. Because if they're gonna, if it's gonna be anything like this, then I just I don't even want to spend the time. I think I'm at forty, close to forty hours on this one save, and then adding on the other three game saves. You know, you're probably pushing. I'm probably pushing fifty hours, and, and I feel like that's that's just a lot. You know what I mean? That's a lot, especially if you're you know you have a job. You, you, it's just a lot to to, to beat a game. I get it. This is a big game. Th that's just my opinion, but. What else? What else can I say about this game? What else can I say? Incendio. Uh, yeah, I don't really know what. <laughs> I'm not really sh sure what else I should say. What else I have to say? But I mean, would I recommend it for people? Sure. I, I thought, like I said, the gameplay was great. And if you don't care about platinum in the game, you don't care about going for 100. This game is great. I'm not gonna lie. It's it definitely get your value for for 60 bucks or however much it is. I 
but like I said, I'm someone who wants to beat the game 100% in all ways I can, and especially get the platinum award. But you know what I mean? Even now, look at me. Look at me right now. I, I have to wander around here trying to find these chests because there's one achievement, one PlayStation achievement you need to complete every single collection. And it, it, I tried Googling it, and it's it's very difficult because there's just nothing out there. <laughs> you literally have to wander. You have to wander to find this stuff, and it's it's crazy. So, yeah, if I had to rate this game on a scale from 0 to 10. Who's Rad Brad? Someone in the chat saying, watch Rad Brad. Someone wanting to 100% every game. Yeah, maybe I'll look it up, but yeah, I, I'm someone who wants 100% every single game. You know, I, I want to feel the achievement of, you know, finishing something with 100%. You know what I mean? I feel like there's a lot of people out there that like to do that with games, especially. Uh, like I said, if I want to just rate this game on a 1 to 10, a 0 to 10, based on the, everything I said, I'd probably give it a 6-8. I'd give it a 6.8 out of 10. Yeah, 6.8 out of 10. Yeah, I'd say 6.8. I think a 6.8 is very fair. Yeah, someone in the chat, my boy in the chat said 7. I said 6.8. Yeah, I mean, it's, uh, not gonna lie, after putting, I put in past two weeks a lot of hours in this game, and after I get off, whether I platinum it or not, I haven't decided yet. I'm still wandering around here with my thumb in my ass trying to find these conjurations. And I've decided that I'm going to take a couple months off of gaming because I am sick of looking at this fucking screen. I uh, am done with games. This game burnt me the fuck out. So... Okay, chat Chat said, can they smell the thumb? This is this is crazy. This is the kind of chat that I have. This, I mean, I love it though. I love the enthusiasm. I love to hear it. I haven't decided if you can smell it or not, but this is fucking crazy. This is absolutely fucking bizarre. Let's take a look on how many conjurations I need, right? Collections. I need eight more. I need eight more conjurations. Do I take the chances on... I need eight more, bro. And I did see some glitches online where... There's just, you're just glitched. You, you just can't, you're going to have to fucking reload or, or resave or some, some stupid crap like that. But yeah, I need one more appearance, eight more of these, four more brooms. I, it's just, it's just too much. It's just way too much to, to have to f go around and find, you know what I mean? But yeah, I think that's the review. I give it a 6.8 out of 10. Let me know what you think down below. I'm going to upload this on YouTube eventually. Don't know when, but this will be up on YouTube. Yeah, that's that's my review of the game. Let me know down below what you guys think. Comment anything. Comment comment if you if you absolutely despise the Merlin trials, let me know down below. Cause I'm right there with you. I'm right there. Oh also, tip. You are going to cement your time uh, and actually go for the uh hundred percent. If you are end game and you're trying to find the Merlin trials, because for some reason they don't put them on the fucking map, you you have to wander. If you're on your bloom broom flying around and you're hitting Revelio in the air, it'll give you it'll literally show it to you on the screen. Even though you can't see it on the map, it'll show it to you on the screen. And I'll show you guys right here. Also, if you are confused as to where you need to look, if you zoom all the way out and hover over it, it shows you on the right hand side what you need in that specific area. So that kind of helped me out in the end. But yeah, literally, you can you can clearly see that I need I need eight more collection chests, right? I need I need eight more of them, right? But if you go into if you go into the map and you you hover around, all the collection everything is 100% on that right-hand side, which is kind of frustrating. It's very frustrating because you can see right now I'm in the South Hogwarts region and it says 9 out of 9, but apparently I'm finding all these chests in the South Hogwarts region in the in the room of requirement right but it's not there and it, it, that's that that's that's the kind of shit that pisses me off that that makes me not want to play hogwarts legacy 2 it's it's very frustrating for you know i've said it i'm not gonna i'm not gonna talk anymore right look hover over here it shows you everything that you have everything that i have right there is 100 percent completed but apparently it's not because collections is not full so 
I think that's enough of a rant. I have not decided if I'm going to uh, continue looking for around here. Rebellion. I'm on the verge of punching my screen and absolutely clobbering my PlayStation 5. Is this a fucking chest? You can't even fly in here. This is this is stupid. This is stupid. Is this a fucking chest or not? How am I supposed to get up there? This this. See, this is the stuff that pisses me off. Alright, I'm done. Yeah, that's my review. Have fun.